you are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. We give you all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. <laughs> we give you all. Lord, we give you all the glory and honor. We thank you that we can stand on this day and continue to bless your name. We thank you that we can honor you and exalt you. You are God and you are high and lifted. Receive all the praise and honor this morning. Thank you for the week that has been, that from Monday you have kept us, you have been with us. You have protected us on the road, you provided for us, you provided for our families. We thank you for just, you know, preserving our lives, oh God. We don't take it for granted that, Father, we can stand even and see this new day. So as we get into this Friday, we pray for your grace, pray for your blessing, and in Jesus' name, amen. Welcome, Transformers, again. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I choose to rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Reverend Michael Gutu, and it's been a privilege and such an honor just to be able to share with us through this week. I just want to thank the leadership for allowing me to just share this week. Uh, and we've been just talking on, you know, the blessings and the benefits of praising and worshiping the Lord in our storm. This uh, has been a great time to just remind ourselves because, you know, we've just come, we've just been in a difficult moment, not just as a nation, but over the world through this pandemic that came in and the last six, seven, eight months, and I know some are still pulling through, have been difficult, difficult months for us. And like we begin, we began on Monday, uh, we said, uh, and I quoted my, my bishop when he says that we are either in a storm, we are either coming out of a storm, or we are just about to get into a storm. And I believe in my heart that we've been able to encourage each other with the four points that we had from Monday, that when we worship the Lord in the storm, the Lord comes out and he fights for us. Our worship is a great weapon in times of difficulty. We also say that when we worship the Lord, that the Lord renews and refreshes us. At times, storms and battles and situations might bring us down and make us weary, but then worshiping him refreshes us. We also said that when we worship the Lord and praise him, our worship changes our focus and changes it from seeing our battles as if they are big and makes them look small because it changes our perception on the storm that we have. We looked at David and said that David did not look at the bigness of Goliath. He did not face Goliath because he was the greatest warrior or he felt that he could handle him. But David looked at the greatness of the Lord where the Lord had brought him forth and he realized that if God had been good to him, this God was bigger and the Goliath was standing in front of him. Then yesterday we talked about when we praise and worship the Lord, even in our storm, the Lord will protect us. We look at the story of Mordecai, of how Haman had planned to destroy Mordecai. But the queen, while she was just, in, uh, you know, pleading for the lives, for her life and for the lives of the Israelites, one eunuch also said that, you know what? This Mordecai, the one that you have blessed, Haman wanted to destroy him. And that thing that Haman had planned to use to destroy Mordecai was the same thing that the king used to destroy 
Haman and Mordecai was saved. So when you worship the Lord, when you bless the name of the Lord, the Lord will protect you. And we say that, you know what? There are things that my people have said or people have gone to which doctors against you, but the Lord has kept you. And I pray that these four things, when we worship the Lord, may you experience them. May you experience Him fighting for you. May you be refreshed and renewed. I pray that, you know, may your perception, may your view of what you're going through change even as you worship the Lord. And also, may the Lord protect you. May the Lord protect your family as you worship Him as a family, as you raise an altar in your house to bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord protect you. You know, interesting thing is this. Our spiritual father, Bishop Masinde, as the pandemic began, he told us every week, every night, take some time as a family and take Holy Communion. Bless the name of the Lord together and trust the Lord as the Lord uh, went through the Passover and protected the children of Israel, that as you worship Him in this time as a family, that the Lord might keep you. I want to say, I know many of us did it, and we want to thank the Lord that as we listen to the prophet of the Lord speak, that the Lord has kept us. The Lord has sustained us. We don't take it for granted. So we continue asking you, continue doing this, continue worshiping the Lord, and trust Him for His protection. Today, I want to share with us, because I know tonight you're joining us for a time of worship, I know we are going to have a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord from 7.30 to, to 9.30. Come in. Come ready with your dancing shoes. Come ready to exalt the name of the Lord. Come ready to lift your hands. We just want to thank the Lord for His protection. We want to thank the Lord for fighting for us. We want to thank the Lord for being with us even through this difficult moment that we have gone through as a nation, as a people, as a family, as a church, as a, you know, as, as, as the world, you know, just, just thank the Lord for His faithfulness. And today I want us to, uh, to just go to the book of Psalms, chapter number 100. And the Bible says from verse 1, Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with thanksgiving. I want to ask that today, we shall choose to make a joyful noise to the Lord. That even as you prepare to come to worship Him tonight, even as you go into your, into your office, make a joyful noise. Shout to the Lord. You know it says, shout to the Lord, all ye lands. There's an exclamation mark right there because it's not a request. It's a command. The Lord is commanding us to make a joyful noise, to shout to the Lord with gladness. Then it says, serve the Lord with gladness. Even today as you go into your place of work, Look at your work as something that is holy to the Lord. Look at your business as something that is holy to the Lord. Serve Him with gladness. Serve that place with gladness. Whatever you shall do today in that office, may your attitude be an attitude of gladness. Do not mama. We said we shall not mama. We shall not complain. We shall focus on the Lord. Then it says, come before His presence with singing. Child of God, wherever you are, as you prepare to come out tonight, I am encouraging you this morning, even as you prepare to go into your office, start singing. Start singing of the goodness of the Lord. Start singing of the faithfulness of the Lord. Start singing of the favor of the Lord. I pray over your, that over your family, you shall start singing today. As you prepare to get into a time of worship, start singing. Come before His presence. As you prepare, those shall be coming into the house on Sunday. Come ready. Start singing from your house. As you are driving your car with your family, before you get into the house of the Lord, start Start singing. Start blessing the name of the Lord. By the time you come, you're already glad to be here. Then the Bible says, know that the Lord, He is God. Ah, it is He who made us and, we, and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter what you've gone through. I know it might have been hard, like I said, from Monday. But the Lord's position has not changed. He's still God. He's still seated on the throne. He's still seated on the right hand of the Father. There's a song that says, in the good times, in the bad times, you still are God. You are God alone. Unchangeable God. Unshakable God. Unstoppable God. And the Bible says, this is the Lord who created us. He, you know, He took time to make us. He took time. And, and just make us, the Bible says that even the angels asked, who is man that you are mindful of him? God is so mindful of you. The Bible says he cares even about the numbers of your hair. Ha, this God cares about you. He's, he's got great things for you. We did not create ourselves. We are the sheep of his pastor. You know what? When I was growing up uh, in, in, in primary school, when you did agriculture, we learned about something called paddocks. And paddocks, you know, when you read animals, you had a big land, you put in things that are called paddocks. And you know, so that when your animals will have pasture in this place, 
When that one is finished, they'll go to the next space so that the animals don't wander the whole place and eat, eat the whole thing. But they will, be, they will be eating and they will never lack. He says, we are the sheep of his pasture. You fenced your paddock so that the sheep uh, of your neighbor will not come in. But only your sheep will be allowed to get into the paddock. We are the, the Lord's sheep. He is our shepherd. He is concerned about us. He is concerned about our goodness. He is concerned about our well-being. He is concerned about our prosperity. He is concerned about our health. He is concerned about the well-being of our families. He is concerned about the work of our hands. He is concerned about our business. We are the sheep of his pasture. Brother and sister, do not lose hope. The Lord is your shepherd. The Bible says we shall not want. He makes us to lie down in green pastures. He restores our soul. He leads us in the paths of righteousness, not for our sake, but for his namesake. There are things that the Lord will do for you, not because of who you are, but because he has to protect his name. There are places, there are doors the Lord will open for you for his namesake. You know why? Because there are people who have looked at you in your family, in your workplace, who have laughed at you because you serve the Lord. But I'm here to let you know, we are the sheep of his pasture. There are things he's about to do for you so that people might say, truly, this was not Mike. There are things the Lord has done for me that when people who know me, people who grew up with me, when they meet me, they know I cannot brag that it was my father who did or it was my family who did. They can surely say, if God has done this for Mike, he's also able to do it for you because the Lord is our shepherd. Then he says this uh, in verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Come to his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Remember I told you, as you prepare to come tonight, as you prepare to get to your place of work, as you prepare to come on Sunday for service, come already praising the name of the Lord. Come already singing songs of victory. By the time you get to these doors, may you come with a heart of thanksgiving, ready to exalt the name of the Lord. Listen, friends, when you go into the house of the Lord, it is a place to go and give thanks to the Lord. It is a place to go and exalt the name of the Lord. Whichever fellowship you go to, whichever church you go to, even more of this, you moja, as you come in on Sunday, please don't come in looking at your trouble. Come in looking at the bigness of the Lord. As you come in, come in and say, you know what, God, I am here today. Devil, you have lost. You might have wanted to destroy me this week, but it is Friday. On Monday, you might have set a trap for me. On Tuesday, I might not have had food. On Wednesday, I might not, not have had uh, money on my pocket. You might have wanted me to despair. But today is Friday. It's a new day of opportunities. I choose to bless the name of the Lord. I am coming into his presence with thanksgiving. I am walking into his praise, his courts with praise. As you get into the house, start praising him. Start lifting his name. Start declaring the goodness of the Lord. Start declaring the greatness of the Lord. Start declaring how good it is. He says, be thankful to him and bless his name. We should have an attitude of thanksgiving. Every time we come before him, let us be thankful. You know what? We might not have, remember we talked about looking at things not half empty but half full half full means this i might not have the whole of it but i have a portion of it i might not have had the best you know the best meal yesterday but at least i had a meal yesterday i might not even have had a meal yesterday but at least i'm alive today i'll be thankful to the lord be thankful for even the little things that you think the lord has done for you then he says uh and bless his name Bless the name of the Lord. No matter what is going on with you, choose to bless the name of the Lord. Choose to exalt the name of the Lord. For the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever and the truth endures in all generations. Listen, the Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. I can testify that the Lord has been good to me. I can testify that the Lord has been gracious to me. I can testify that the Lord has been favorable to me. I don't know where you are. I know in your homes, in your business, in that matatu, you have a reason to bless the name of the Lord. Look back. Just close your eyes right now and look back and see, ha, huh, how good has the Lord been to me? I know this is where I am, but this God has been good to me. This God has been gracious to me. I am praying for you today, child of God. 
And as you go into your workplace, as you go into your business, as you go into your endeavors this day, that you will choose to bless the name of the Lord. May you have an attitude of gladness. I am praying that you will join us tonight. You will join us for a time of worship. Again, go to our posters on Facebook. Uh, we've got posters out there in regards to our worship experience. Let's come. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's exalt the name of the Lord. Let us glorify the name of the Lord. Let us magnify the name of the Lord. Those who are watching us online, you know, in your homes, bless him. Create some space to dance. Create some space to kneel before him and just to bless him because we just want to be grateful to the Lord. God has been good. So tonight, 7.30 to 9.30, two hours, non-stop worship, just a time to bless the name of the Lord. I am excited. I am excited. We are going to be live. The worship team is excited. You know, we are excited to have you. And I know our lives will not be the same. So Father, I pray for your children today. That Lord, every time they wake up, may they choose to bless your name. May they choose to exalt your name. May they choose to glorify your name. May they choose to magnify your name. That may they see the goodness of the Lord. Every time they walk into the houses of worship, may they enter those gates with praise. May they enter your courts with a shout. May they be ready and excited as they prepare to leave their homes, to go into a place of worship. I pray that gladness may be their portion. That that joy may be their portion that lord as they come into their presence lord may they not look at the things they have been through but may they look at the goodness of the lord so i pray that in this day father may you keep them and sustain them in jesus name amen thank you so much for joining us through the week i've really really enjoyed just sharing a nugget each day to us it's been a great pleasure of mine to be able to share with you and i pray that you've been blessed hey please send us a testimony the numbers are right there send us a testimony of what the lord has done in your life if you'd like to give you know the numbers are right there you can give through our you know our, our pay bill or you can give through our till number we we will will really really uh, uh, uh bless the lord for you we thank you wherever you are for just joining us through the week monday through friday and i pray that as you go into your weekend may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may you have a wonderful friday we have a wonderful Saturday, and we are looking forward to seeing you on Saturday. Remember, we have got uh, four or three services in our Umoja 3 campus and our Kangundo Road campus. Uh, we, are, uh, we know the worship team is ready for worship. The preachers are ready. With the, we will just to speak to our lives. And at the main campus, we have got four services. Our services start at 7.30, all the way to 8.30, 9.30, uh, all the way to 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, all the way to... Uh, to, 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 to 1.30, then 2.30 to 4. And our teenagers have their services from 4.30 uh, all the way to 6. Please feel free. Come from your homes. Come, let us rejoice together in the Lord, and the Lord will bless you. Amen. We love you. We appreciate you. We are praying for you, and we thank the Lord for you. God bless you so much. Thank you for being part of our devotions this week. Amen. <laughs>